Hi everybody, Martin here with Regina Experts Real Estate Team and I'm here with Jeff Brown from MRE Financial. Uh, Jeff's a good friend of mine and he's in the uh, basically investment business so uh, I just got a couple questions for you Jeff. Like basically, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do here, like what is your specialty and that sort of thing. Sure, um, so we're a boutique financial planning firm and we tend to work with uh, small business owners, uh, self-employed professionals, uh, high income earners. Um, and we do financial planning basically from A to Z. So right. we're not accountants. Sometimes people think of, well, my financial planner needs to be an accountant. Uh, we're uh, a CFP or certified financial planning professionals. Cool. And um, we help people um, work with their money and uh, figure out a game plan to get from where they are now to where they want to be at some point in the future. Okay, awesome. So that actually brings up an interesting question. So do you, like, what type of people invest with you? Because I know a lot of misconceptions are like, Oh, I gotta be a millionaire. I gotta have you know three hundred grand or whatever to invest. Um, like, what 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 do you need to get started? Like, what type of people do you work with? Yeah. So for us, it's not so much having a certain amount of money to to, to be able to invest. I mean, I know there are firms out there where they draw a hard line mm -hmm. and they say you need to have at least this to, to right. be a client of ours. Yeah. Um, Ideally, we want clients to get to a certain level, but we realize that not everybody starts there. Uh, yeah. So for us, it's more important to be working with the right types of people. Right. And by that, I mean people with the, the right the right mindset. Mm -hmm. um, people that are actively engaged in wanting to be proactive with their finances sure. versus the folks that want to stick their head in the sand and i got to drag them through a process to help them get to their, I don't know, a stable financial future. Right, right. So basically, you get people help people get set up of all of all levels, right? I mean, yeah, you get, I mean, you get millionaires and you get people that are just getting going or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So let, for somebody that's maybe thinking about getting started or has a little bit of money, like, uh, what kind of advice would you have for them? You know, like how to get you know what what sort of what type of products? And anything. This sounds like a very shameless plug, uh, <laughs> but whether it's me or <laughs> it's any, okay. anybody <laughs> else there that does similar to what I do, uh, I think everybody should have a financial advisor. There you go. Um, and whether you know you're just starting out and you start with the bank and that's going to be the beginning of your, your education into the financial world, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can find somebody that holds them out maybe to be independent like we are, mm -hmm. where um, they can be more unbiased with the advice that they're giving you. Awesome. But, but everybody should have a financial advisor. Where cool. you've got a little or a lot, to have that sounding board will help you make better financial decisions. Right. So would you say that people that have been working with a financial advisor for you know, the majority of their career, do you think they're better off at the end? Oh yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are studies out there that we've seen where they look at a sample of folks that had not had an advisor mm -hmm. and folks that did, and over the course of 15 years, mm -hmm. the people that had, you know, don't quote me on this, <laughs> but you can Google it, you'll find the, the study, I'm sure. Check it um, out. Yeah, the folks that had a financial advisor had, it was two to four times more wealth or more success. Wow, two to four times. That's yeah. that's a it's a big number. That's a big number. Then those yeah. that tried to go it on their own. Jeez. Yeah. Well that's totally worth it, right? Yeah, I mean why wouldn't you the, do the it? interesting thing about having a financial advisor, and I think where the stumbling block is for a lot of people, Marty, mm -hmm. is they think, oh I gotta go and it's gonna be an onerous process and it's gonna be expensive. Mm -hmm. I have to pay somebody a lot of money to right. get the advice. And there are different variations of how advisors have set up their practices. Sure. But more or less, whether you're doing it on your own and you're investing on your own, or whether you're going to a bank or whether you're going to an independent advisor, um, there's a cost associated with any of those, and you're not likely paying your advisor any more than you'd be paying at your local bank. For wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so if people want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, call, text, email, uh, right. so they can give we're us gonna, a shout. We're going to throw that in there, in the ad there, and you'll see it. Yeah. Uh, Google MRE Financial will, right will pop up, so uh, uh, okay. we're available on all. What's your phone number here at the office? 306-789-3744. There you go. You heard it here, folks. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Really appreciate your Thanks, time. Uh, uh, click on the links or the phone numbers or anything if you want to get in touch with Jeff. And uh, again, thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers.